Okay then guys, how are you? Hope you're all well. Well, I already made a video for this, of this uh, Tesla coil yesterday, and uh, overnight left uh, both videos upload. I noticed the X-Ray ZVS driver, um, X-Ray transformer had um, uploaded, but this one didn't. And when I come to play back the video, it wouldn't play. I don't know what the hell went wrong with it. I'm just sick and tired of this phone. I'm not getting much luck with cameras at all. And it's starting to annoy me. I need to uh, go out and see if I can get hold of a, a decent camera. But uh, of course, things things don't things are not cheap. Things cost money, and it's a bleeding nightmare, especially when you're trying to do a house up. But anyway, I wanted to make this video for Dirk82, Sebastian Nutter, and uh, he's a good friend of mine on uh, YouTube and on G Plus. Uh, you know, he's into his high voltage stuff, so check out his channel. And uh, we was talking about this um, Tesla call yesterday when we did a video chat and uh, I told him I'd do a video of it running uh, without the top load and uh, with the top load uh, I got 12 volts going into it from this 12 volt battery which I got from the scrapyard which is absolutely nothing wrong with it it's, uh, I'm trying to think how many amps it gives out, I think it's about 30 amps where are you? yeah 30 amps it is good battery so ZVS driver with a flyback in there with the output that's the bottom of the flyback output and that's the main wire output because this one's a hotter output than that one is in other words it's got more it seems to have more current than the uh, I think it's the anode and cathode if I remember rightly and uh, which goes into the bottom of the Tesla coil which has got the capacitor bank in there and the spark gap the spark gap's inside because it, it makes the whole unit a lot more quieter and it's away from the plastic and there's a bit of shielding around there in case any heat comes off it you know not to uh, melt the plastic housing of the uh, you know the project box so primary coil just there look count the turns and that's about 800 turns if I remember rightly quite a long one, it goes all the way down to the bottom of there and the earth output of the other side of the coil, secondary coil, that's the output there which is goes directly to earth not the house earth of course, a five foot steel pole going straight into the ground which is my separate output for my earth, separate earth I should say and Sebastian we was on about the top of this wasn't we, this uh, brass uh, copper ring just there well that's the other end of this coil which is soldered to the underneath of that and then hot glued onto it mate so you can run it without it or with a top load hey hello world <laughs> so right I hope this one turns out because I'm not doing a bloody another one I'm getting sick and tired of this phone right here we go draw some current as well Tell you something now. I guarantee with this running, that coil there, you will get a slight output from it. Guaranteed. If I was to get to the base uh, at the bottom of that coil, get a wire and bring it all the way up and touch that toroidal top load just there, that toroid, you'll get a bit of a spark because the energy from that will be over there. And guaranteed, you'd you'd measure something even with that running the one next to it you'd be able to measure an output from it that's how much energy these give out unbelievable you can honestly see where Mr Tesla himself had the idea of wireless energy because it's just unbelievable I know a lot of you Tesla enthusiasts know this but for people who don't know it that's how much energy these give out Try it without it.
I do believe I've got a bit of an arc over here, guys. I, n I need to put a ring around there because it's giving a bit of a. See, it's doing it again. Once you get a trace, that's it. I need to get some hot glue around there now because it's once it's made its path, that's it. You you're doomed. Try a bit further down the frequency, see if that'll help. Pretty unbelievable, isn't it? The amount of ozone in here now, I'm really choking on it. I'm chewing on it. I can taste it. I can taste that in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. There for you. That's all for you, then, Sebastian. Well, not just for you. It's for uh, all my other rare uh, subscribers. But it's made for everyone. But of course, it's directed to Sebastian Nutter, Dirk eighty two, because uh, you know he's uh, he's on about making one of these things. So uh, good luck, mate. Good luck to anybody else who wants to make one. Look after yourselves, be safe, speak again.